On this video, we're going to be talking about best NAS for backing up. Because there's always like confusion, like which NAS is best for backing up, but in different situation, uh, there will be a different NAS that uh, suits your needs really the best. So what would you usually think about backing up is your uh, USB devices like your camera or um, uh, your external hard drive or flash drives. Uh, so something physical you want to back up. Then uh, the other option would be backing up your cloud services, your Dropbox or something, uh, or backing up your second NAS. But we're gonna go more in details uh, on, on next slide. So you may want to back up your Mac, Windows, Linux, are you another NAS? Uh, you may want to back up your internal folder on a NAS, on a second NAS or a second drive internally uh, in a NAS. You may want to do external backups via USB or eSATA. You might actually synchronize a folder on your computer, similar to Dropbox, but you want to replace your Dropbox with something what you own. You want to back up uh, your phone, multimedia, so photos and videos. You may want to back up or use shared service for um, uh, calendars and contacts on your phone. You may want to back up your uh, Office 360 or G Suite, your virtual machines. Uh, you want to back up your cloud services like Amazon Drive or Dropbox. You may want to um, uh, go, maybe we're going to go more in details about that as well snapshots and version control and data compression, data duplication, encryption a bit at the end, uh, which is more about um, data uh, security, integrity and efficiency of, of storing this data. So let's dig in. Um, about time machine backups, which one is the best uh, backup for uh, backing up your Mac by a time machine? So in this case, um, all of the NASs would um, allow you to do that. All you would need to do is uh, create a um, folder, shared folder where you can store your um, uh, virtual machine, then enable the service uh, uh, so Mac could actually connect, uh, create a user so it's separate and safe, and then um, on your Mac you map this uh, network drive, and connect to it, and then just enable virtual machine. So there's um, uh, apps you can install on, 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 uh, on your NASes. So for example, QNAP, you would uh, allow you to install HPS, which would simplify the process. So you don't need to do these things manually because in, in this sort of uh, situation, the Snowdy probably is going to be the most uh, difficult to set up. But um, don't you worry because this is something you just do once. So either way, you're going to be spending just a few minutes um, setting this up and then you will never ever will need to think about this again. But QNAP will actually allow you to simplify this process with HBS3. Um, similar on WD, it's, it's fairly simple. All you need to do is go to settings and enable Mac backups. Um, and um, ACES and Terra Master is, is also pretty much um, basic. But the best will be probably QNAP. It's going to guide you through and you'll find it the most easy. Or WD, actually. Um, so we can move on on Windows backups. And... Uh, something more complicated than just simple backups because not every NAS do uh, like an image, like a clone backup of your Windows because this is very important uh, when you want to recover because with Time Machine, uh, all you need to do is just recover and all your system, everything is going to go back in a previous sort of stage. So if you want true image sort of backup, you will, uh, the best uh, really option will be for you Synology. Synology allows you to use some um, active backup um, which is um, uh, which is going to be actually creating a system. Every single file of, on your uh, on your computer is going to be backed up, and then afterwards you can create a recovery disk, which you can use to recover your Windows. So you don't need to manually install the Windows, configure it, and then copy the data, or because this is what you would need to do with other um, vendors, unless you use Windows built-in uh, tool. Uh, which is um, when, you, when you go to control panel, system security and backup restore, you can actually create a backup thing. How reliable it is, to, is, as, is as reliable as the Windows, <laughs> but um, you can use this um, option inside the Windows 
and then in, if you do that you can use pretty much any NAS QNAP, SNOR, JSTOR, WD, whatever um, you can you can enable this um, back Windows system backup on a network drive but if you want something more reliable and um, something you can forget about and it's always going to work it's probably going to be Synology so you can use that uh, if you if you're happy of uh, backing up just certain folders, then um, you can use Synology Drive or Synology um, so Active Backup, which is, uh, Synology Drive is gonna uh, back up your entire C drive or any other folder you want on your on your system. Uh, similar to that, QNAP uses NetBack Replicator, which also is gonna allow you to choose which drive you want to back up or which folder you want to back up and. Um, when you restore, you will need to copy this data or so, but at least it's, it's automated. Acer Store as well have something called Backup Plan, um, so you can choose folder you want to back up. Um, Terramaster is probably the worst, they don't have their own software to uh, any folder, do folder level or image backup, so you will need to use Windows built in tools. WD, same, they don't have their own software, but they have partnered with um, something called Acronis, True Image. So you get um, for five years free license, so you can use their software. It's, it's quite advanced software, but um, it's not uh, made by WD, but it's good. You can actually back up your um, entire PC folders, but it's not gonna be image backup, even though the name indicates image, but <clears throat> it's gonna back up your folders. Um, so yeah, in this situation, really the, clearly the winner will be Synology for backing up your Windows but you can uh, use uh, other systems if you are happy to use Windows built-in uh, functions or if you're happy to just do folder level backup. Uh, that's about um, Windows uh, image backup. Linux, that's pretty straightforward for Linux users. They are smart people, they know what they are using. So they're probably gonna be using something called Clonezilla so they can create the system image of uh, Linux or they can use rsync SSH, a way of connecting and synchronizing folders. Um, on every, every NAS that you can do that because all NASs are based anyway on a Linux based system so they have backbone is Linux and then they have their own DSM or uh, QTS or whatever operating the system living on top of this <clears throat> then uh, if you would want to back up your secondary NAS so if you keep some NAS in somewhere in the basement or in a friend's uh, house uh, the easiest way will be probably with some um, Snorgy and QNAP, uh, especially if you use uh, the same brand, so two Snorgies or two QNAPs. If you use their own software, it's going to be the easiest to back up and more importantly to recover your data. So on QNAP, you can use something called HBS3 uh, to back up from one QNAP to another QNAP, or you can use rsync service if you're backing up um, across the pl different platforms, so QNAP to Snorgy, for example. Uh, Snorgy, the same thing, you can use their own um, backup um, uh, software uh, to backup to another Snorgy or you can use um, rsync again, similar to QNAP. Asus Store, WD and Terramaster, they, um, they, they are going to be more complicated but the basic principle is that it stays the same. You can use this rsync um, replicated remote service where you can, you can backup your NAS. Um, on a WD, you don't need to install anything. You go to remote backups in settings, you can do that. And uh, there, master, you go to backup uh, and do the same thing. And then ACES was all. But clearly, the winners are going to be here QNAP and Synology, uh, both really uh, very, very similar. If you want to back up your NAS to uh, internal folder, to another folder, or to another drive, then here the winner is going to be Asus Store certainly because of what Asus Store is doing differently than any other NAS is that um, you can, if you, for example, if you got four bays uh, on your NAS, you can use uh, the last bay, for example, for something called My Archive. So you can put the drive in, um, do the automatic um, backing up or transferring data to this uh, drive, and then you can take this drive out put in the shelf and put another archive drive and put some other different kind of data on this drive. And um, it, uh, it goes actually a step further. You can share this drive, you can give this drive to your friends or whatever, and and they can connect this drive via um, dock to their system, their window, Windows or other operating system they got, 
and they can access this data. So either they do this on uh, on the Windows machine or they put it in their own Asus Store NAS and use this uh, uh, service and they can get the data out. So if it's movies, music, whatever you got there, it's very easy to uh, transport this data to, to one to another location or just put it somewhere safe in your archive. So clearly the Asus Store is the easiest. All of the systems will allow you to to automate it back up to another folder or to another volume, another drive. <coughs> uh, but Acer Store will really stand out in this situation. Um, then we can move on to backing up uh, your external uh, media like uh, flash drives or um, uh, USB hard drives or cameras. Um, probably here the winner is going to be uh, WD possibly on the, on the way that you can actually connect a camera to it and it's going to do a backup or you can use some um, USB adapter where you can put this SD card in and uh, and then it's going to be seen as external drive anyway so uh, in that case um, the best will be queuing up in Synology. Synology will allow you, allow you to set up even um, something automated automated like uh, plug in uh, and, and backup it's going to detect which drive you have connected through the USB and you can tell uh, Synology what's going, what needs to be done when you connect this drive, either copy data from hard drive to a NAS or from NAS to a hard drive, but it's going to detect which drive is connected and what sort of procedure need to be done. Um, QNAP will allow us all something similar, but, th but they use something like a one-touch button. So instead of just plugging, you need to plug in and then press the button next to the USB port, which is going to be um, uh, doing what you tell them to do, like import um, data or um, export the data and uh, <clears throat> it's going to be automated automatically. Um, on Terramaster you can do as well the same thing but it's, it's maybe not that easy. But you can do multi versions or mirroring or incremental but this you can, you can do on other systems as well but Terramaster is going to be very basic. <clears throat> but if you want to know what's the winner in this situation is Asus Store for sure is really the best system to backing up your external drives because you can actually take them away or share with other other people. Then um, synchronizing your folder. So if you got um, Dropbox and you want to replace this Dropbox with something else, so you want to synchronize a folder on your computer with a NAS, then um, a clear winner here is going to be a Synology. Uh, with a, uh, and why Synology? Because it's going to be the most um, similar to Dropbox. Because there's no other brands out there offering something like um, um, keeping files on a NAS only while those files are still seen as shortcuts on your on your system. So you can actually go to your folder, synchronized folder, and see the files which actually do not exist on your uh, computer. Uh, or if there are some files existing on, on your computer and they take so much of space and you need to free up some space on your computer, you just do a right click and uh, free up space, which means uh, the the um, file is going to be deleted from your computer, but it's still going to exist on your NAS. So you still, even though it's not existent here in your system, you can still see it, find it, and open it. And whenever you're ready or you want to have local access, you just do again right click and say, "Okay, I want to keep here, keep it here on my system." Um, QNAP also um, allows you to have uh, this um, synchronized folder on your system, but um, if you choose to have this file stored only on a NAS, you won't be able to see it on, on your uh, Windows or, or Mac, whatever you use. You will need to actually do like double search. First, you search for something file on your system. If you can't find it, you need to go on QNAP uh, online system and then find it there. And then if you find it, you copy over. So it's like extra process. It might be frustrating sometimes for some people. Similar, it happens with Asus Store, similar QNAP. Um, WD doesn't have their own software again, but they use um, ours, um, they use this uh, Acronis and um, you could potentially set up like a f schedule for f every five minutes to check a file, a folder and synchronize it. So this would be a way around if you really want to go for WD solution, then you can set something up like this synchronization. Thermaster don't have uh, their uh, option, their software for synchronizing a folder though. You, what you can do is though you can map a drive and then um, and then keep these files all the time on a NAS 
uh, and have access from your computer but that's about it there's no sync really um, moving on um, backing up your phones so backing up your multimedia what is the best um, what I found in regards to um, simplicity of backing up your files your, your multimedia is probably WD because what I noticed that it managed actually to synchronize my phone uh, data my phone pictures videos with a NAS even though the app was not open which is actually really handy because with other brands you need to have this app open <laughs> and then and then you can synchronize this um, multimedia what you got on your phone uh, but once this synchronization is done then um, the winners are clearly Snorgy and QNAP because um, the way you can filter down your content your 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 multimedia you can they got something like artificial intelligence so face recognition object recognition uh, they got geographic locations and and, and timestamps so you can actually filter down that which which year you want to uh, see what pictures and what person you want to see in those pictures and uh, what objects and, and and, and geographical locations. Um, Snowgy got the, really the best um, app for geograph uh, geo uh, geo sort of access uh, with something called um, uh, Photo Station. They want to phase it out and replace it with moments and now photos, but um, they really got a really nice uh, map available where you can zoom into different regions. It's gonna show pinpoints where you've been around the world, around the country, wherever, and you can zoom in and see those pictures. Uh, you can they're still doing this GE on uh, new apps but um, um, instead they're just putting like a title or oh, this is uh, UK or this is um, Manchester or this is London and then it's more like textual version you need to actually scroll through those locations it's not this like <clears throat> a nice user interface when you zoom into a map but you can do that QNAP and Synology very similar they got the QMaggie or QPhoto and, and Synology got photo and moments <clears throat> Aces are good their own as well, uh, but um, it's not too bad. <laughs> but uh, it's not it's not the best of all. It's definitely on the top three somewhere. Theramaster uh, sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. The user interface and app itself is not really great. They're using the file app to do this um, backup for your photos and images, but there's no actual app for uh, filtering down your content afterwards. So Theramaster definitely is going to be a um, loser in this situation. Uh, backing up your phone contacts and calendars uh, only Snowgy is going to be offering you this service so you can do enable service called CalDAV or CardDAV um, and, and why would you go for it because it, you might choose to back up your um, calendars and, and, and contents with Google if you want to or with uh, iCloud but sometimes you might want to keep this uh, data private and keep it in your own uh, cloud so for example if you're running a business and you got um, customer uh, database with personal um, details from the phone and the emails and stuff like that that you can with Snowgy you can enable CalDAV service or NCARDAV and um, you can um, link this you can uh, actually enable this uh, service on several phones so all your team could have um, could access it access your contact database so every time there is going to be new contact added uh, to a list or a phone number changed or name changed or whatever changes all phones connected to this um, uh, service will have automatically the latest uh, correct number available or email available so this is very useful same with calendars as well if there's something added every person in, in the business who will have connected to this service will have uh, these new events added to their calendar so this is something Synology offers uh, and others don't then if you've got Office 360 or G Suite to back up, then only QNAP Synology is doing. Uh, they both do a very similar job. QNAP is using uh, BoxSafe app and Synology is using Active Backup for G Suite and 365. Um, others, uh, other brands are not going to do this. So if you need to back up Office 360, then QNAP Synology is the only option for you here. Uh, if you want to back up your cloud, so if you've got Box, Google Drive or um, Amazon Drive, and if you want to back up your cloud, to your NAS, then uh, here a clear winner is going to be QNAP and Synology. Um, you can zoom in and you can see how many actually services each of the brands offer. Uh, Aces Store got very limited options like um, another Aces Store NAS, Dropbox, OneDrive, Google Drive, 
WD, you've got only two options, Amazon S3 or Dropbox. Airmaster is very different uh, from all of these as well, that you need to install separate app for each of these services. So if you want a box, you need to install Box um, Sync app. If you want uh, to Amazon, you need to install Amazon, Google, again, separate. Whereas QDAP Synology, you can just uh, do everything in one place. <clears throat> and all these apps don't need to be maintained and, uh, and looked after. Um, so yeah, it's clearly winner here is going to be QNAP and Synology. Uh, backing up your uh, virtual machines, um, you can use third-party app called Nakivo. You need to pay for it. It's a really advanced tool by cost, but uh, QNAP Synology and Acer will allow you to do that. If you don't want to pay for backing up virtual machines, you can use internal tools on QNAP and Synology. QNAP will uh, um, have an app hyper data protector where you can actually back up your virtual machines and Synology is going to be active backup for business. Uh, others unfortunately do not do this. And then a little bit about um, data security and about like snapshots um, because there's not enough of backing up your data. You also need to look after what, what's going on with your data. And there's something like Mm, mass snapshots for example which is going to protect you for uh, ransomware attacks so your data gets encrypted and you can't get uh, your data back so mass snapshots will be something similar to um, windows system restore so you can go back to yesterday's version or week uh, before and uh, and you can now uh, get your data back recovered back to this version so entire nas is going to go back to yesterday's version for example so qnap uh, synology and asus store and also Termaster with um, a special app for us. You can do this. WD won't allow you to do that. <clears throat> Backup version is available on QNAP Synology and Asus Store. So you can go uh, back, not just now, the entire NAS, you can go back uh, versions versions of your files. So yesterday's version of files. So if something was changed uh, inside your file, not just deleted or, um, or, or anything like that, or changed the file name, you can if someone just removed some paragraph in, in the text document, you can go back to yesterday's version and, and revert it back. Um, WD is going to use Acronis software for this. They don't have their own uh, solution, but this is something you can do. Then there's data compression. If you got some um, uh, large folders which you don't really access frequently, it's more like archive, you can um, use um, uh, encryption. So QNAP will allow you to zip the file Synology Ace Store um, gonna allow you to zip or seven uh, seven Z W D won't allow you to do that. Their master is all manual zip. Um, but clear winner here is gonna be really QNAP if you want something automated. So because QNAP can um, look at the folders and files which are not frequently accessed, and they can set up some sort of um, routines. What happens with these files and folders? Do they get uh, archived or moved to another media or something like that? So QNAP will definitely be winner there. Uh, deduplication, QNAP and Synology is offering this a store using third-party app, but QNAP and Synology is going to do it for free. You can, um, if you're backing up, for example, virtual machines, there's no point keeping five versions of the same virtual machine, whereas only um, a few folders changed um, between one and another backup. So deduplication is going to merge these blocks together, so two virtual machines together in the backup because the same data on the back level. So only changes are going to be so similar, like incremental, but a bit lower level than that. And then an encryption. So to keep your data safe, um, you can do uh, folder level, uh, folder encryption, Synology, Aster, and Terramaster. On WD, you're going to be encrypting your entire NAS. And on the QNAP, QNAP is clearly going to be winner on our encryption level, because not only you can encrypt your folder, or encrypt your volume, you can also use um, self-encrypting drives like SSDs, uh, self-encrypting SSDs. So this is this is the, probably the safest way of keeping your data secure and encrypted. If you um, store very like sensitive data, like customer uh, bank sort of data, and, and whatever it is, or document, whatever it is. So yeah, this has been um, about um, what is the best NAS. So in if different situation really is gonna be the different uh, NAS brand. So if it's for uh, virtual machines or if it's backing up your cloud or uh, uh, external drives, uh, you can always go just back to the first slide and uh, have a uh, view of a table where everything will have detailed everything in one sort of view. So you can quickly uh, 
make sense of all these uh, different brands. Uh, obviously, you will need to, um, once you figure out which brand you want to go for, you will need to narrow down the NAS options, but I hope this actually simplified um, the first step to just uh, have some sort of vision of direction, which, which, which brand you should go for, and then the rest of it is already easier. I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, you can go to uh, NAS Compares, fill the form on the right hand side or ask NAS Compares or you can sh uh, fire email to info NAS Compares and if the uh, question is going to be interesting, we're going to shoot a video and uh, put up on, on YouTube so we can help others as well. Um, I hope this was helping you and um, have a lovely day yourself.